Hi guys, so this is a paper that you guys wrote recently, I think last week. Um, it's paper one for Gauteng province. Um, if you have uh, other papers from other provinces, please do send me an email. I'm going to leave it in the comment section and forward those papers so that we can prepare, right? The whole aim is to prepare for December. Otherwise, I wouldn't be uh, doing this memo for you guys, <laughs> if I call it memo. But anyways, I don't have a memo, by the way. So this is strictly my calculation. So if you have any uh, suggestions regarding my solutions, please let me know in the comment section. Anyways, let's get down to it. So I'm just going to do this interesting question. It's question 1.5, right? Um, let's, let me read it. It um, reads as follows. A race requires an athlete to run 10 kilometers and cycle 50 kilometers. Tendani uh, runs at a speed of X kilometers and cycles at a speed of X plus 31 kilometers per hour, right? So he takes uh, 10 over X hours for the 10 kilometer run. 1.5.1 express the time he takes for the 50 kilometer cycle in terms of x so let's focus on the uh, 50 kilometer cycle which is this one here right so we're expressing the time remember in physics in physics uh, to find time we know velocity is equal to uh, displacement right over time change in time by the way so um, then we cross multiply because we want time so it's going to be v multiplied by change in t is equal to uh, change in uh, displacement and then we divide by v both sides and then our change in time is equals to change in displacement over velocity right of which the displacement it's the 50 kilometers because remember we are focusing on the cycle right so it's 50 kilometers and the the velocity we're given it's this one here velocity of the cycle which is uh x plus 31 kilometers so it's going to be equals to so it's 50 kilometers over x plus 31 kilometers per hour right remember this is change in t so change in t is just going to be uh in hour only right so it's hours so it's going to be 50 over x plus 31 hours right so this is the change in time that this question is looking for now let's go to 1.5.2 where um, the question reads as follows calculate the speed so it must be in decimal uh, points so whatever expression we get definitely we need to use a quadratic formula because they're saying it must be in decimal form let's just zoom it so calculate the speed um, correct to two decimal places at which he runs completing the entire race in two hours so what happens here is this remember we are talking of tendani right um this sounds like a vendor word i mean name sorry <laughs> uh, i guess you guys will agree with me so uh this race this person runs for 10 kilometers right let me just say run for 10 kilometers and cycles for 50 kilometers right so cycle for 50 kilometers and then uh one important thing is we are focusing on the time remember we are asked to find the speed and what's critical is the statement where it says tendani runs at a speed of x so he runs at x kilometers per hour so we need to find this x so basically the whole point is to find x how we do that we are told uh, in this uh, part of the question that the entire race is two hours, right? It's two hours, but we know what time does he spend for cycling? It's the previous question. Remember the previous question? It's the time for cycling. So time for cycling plus the time for running should give you the entire time, which is two hours, right? The total time of the entire race. Right, so what we're going to do is this, we're going to add the time for cycling, which is what we found previously to be um, 50 over X plus 31, it's the one that we got previously. And then the time for running, um, if you can take a look, 
The time for running is this one here, which is 10 over X hours for 10 kilometers. Remember, running is 10 kilometers. So we're just going to write that down here, which is 10 over X is equals to 2 hours. As I said, the whole point is to find X. Why? Because X is the velocity, we're told. And then we're just going to cross multiply X. We remove everything that is at the denominator. So you should get 50x over x plus 31, right, plus 10. What did I do? I multiplied the, t the x, all sides, all sides. So here I'm just going to have 10 equals 2x. And then I'm going to remove this uh, by multiplying with it. So it's going to be x plus 31. Multiply it here, multiply it here, multiply it here. Right, so we're going to have... Um, 50x plus 10 into x plus 31 is equal to 2x into x plus 31, right? So just going to find the product with so 50x plus 10x, which we multiply the 10 here and here, plus 310 is equal to 2x squared plus 62 x right and then you're gonna bring all these to the other side so we're gonna have 2x squared plus 62x minus 50x minus 10x minus 310 is equals to zero right so uh add the like terms so it's 2x squared plus 2x when you um separate everything here minus 310 is equal to 0, then we divide by 2 all sides, and then we remain with x squared plus x minus 155 is equal to 0, and then we can't factorize this, so we're just going to use the quadratic formula of x equals to minus b plus or minus the root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a, so x is equal to my b, it's 1, plus or minus the root of 1 squared minus 4, my a is 1, my c is minus 155, right? Divide by 2 into 1. And then your x values that you need to find is x being equals to 1, 1.96 kilometers per hour, or x being equals to minus 12.96 kilometers per hour, right? So because it's math, let's just consider this as the answer. But definitely this one is also true. Remember, uh, velocity has direction. But if it's speed, because the question says that you must calculate the speed. Uh, if it's speed, obviously you can't consider the negative solution. So this is not uh, the one. So you're just going to consider the positive one. Remember, speed doesn't have direction. Anyways, this is a solution for this question here. Um, if you have any questions or suggestions, please let me know in the comment section below. Please follow or subscribe uh, if you are on YouTube or follow if you are on TikTok. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.